This tutorial goes over how to uh, use the sequence, use the user sequences we collected using Mega in TreeSap and uh, the analysis of the output of TreeSap. So first of all, you can download TreeSap from this website, uh, dna.cswa.edu slash TreeSap. On this page, there's uh, basically it's uh, going to be hopefully continuously under development as we as we improve upon TreeSap and make it more user friendly. As for now, uh, the three executables are here, as well as uh, two demos or two uh, tutorials right here about running TreeSap. Um, once you've downloaded it and installed it, uh, it should run pretty well. Uh, unfortunately, on Vista, I've found that you've had you have to go into uh, program files and open this, this uh, run this, this batch file and it'll pull up uh, TreeSap for you after a clean prompt. So once you get this opening window you're ready to get your data in the right format. So uh, wherever you saved your files from um, from Mega, uh, just open up that folder here I've I've got my uh, my folders here all these files. The two files you're going to need are this this demo aligned file which is a FASTA file, and the demo tree which should be in NuWIC format. Now you can open these up uh, by clicking open with, and either choosing Notepad or just selecting it there if it's already there for you. Now when you open up this alignment file, you should check a couple things. First of all, make sure all of your all of your tags are here, that everything is there. Second of all, check to make sure there are some dashes. Um, if there are no dashes, you probably got just your FASTA file with your sequences. Go back and get the alignment file, which has actually everything aligned up with dashes, with, with the gaps. Thirteen, the third thing to check is to make sure that you have the nucleotide sequences, not the protein sequences. Um, in Mega, if you were viewing the nucleotide sequences when you saved it, they should be nucleotide, but if you're viewing the protein sequences when you saved it, it saved them as proteins. Alright, the other file that we need, this is the alignment file, and then we need this, the tree file. You can also open that just with our notepad here. And that should just look something like this. Now, uh, TreeSap is a little picky about the input it takes. Uh, we're hoping to work on that. But as for right now, we're going to need to clean these up a little bit. So, um, what it needs is it needs to be able to uh, to have the same name in your alignment file as in your tree file. So let's first start off uh, by making some of these names a little bit easier. Um, TreeSap does not accept the uh, spaces in the names or hyphens, I think. So we're just going to get rid of everything except for just the, uh, the species so we can tell what it was and just get rid of everything else in the line. Now it's important to leave these new lines, or these return carriages, just between uh, between the species name and the sequence. And also, one other note: uh, TreeSap will cut off anything uh, greater than I, th I can't remember how many characters. I think it's like ten characters. So make sure they're shorter, otherwise you're going to lose. So if you had like two of the same species and it went out 14 characters and then had a, a tag on the end for identification, the tree sap would cut that off and you'd, it'd be, uh, you couldn't tell what everything was in the, in the output files. All right, now that we've changed our names in, in the alignment file, uh, we're just going to, we can maybe save this out. Uh, Uh, new name. 
We're just basically going to be copying from this and, and pasting into a new document. Now on our uh, our tree, <clears throat> we need to match these names, so we changed uh, Homo sapiens just to that, and then you don't need this number right here. All you need, the only parts of this document that are important are the commas and the names and the parentheses. So if we just get rid of everything else, we can do that. What this is is basically notation that says that Homo sapiens is uh, most closely related with the chimp here. And uh, next, and, and then this, the colon and the number are the relationship, the, they're, the, how closely they are related. And uh, TreeSab does not need any of that. So we're just going to take that right out. So just leave the commas and the parentheses in there and make sure the names match. All right, now that we have our tree formatted and our sequences formatted here, we're ready to put them together to create the, the final tree sap input. So what we're gonna do <clears throat> is we're going to copy this into our alignment file and just put it right at the end there. Now, uh, this kind of needs to be it needs some tags uh, as it reads it in. So, the very first line of your file needs to be Nexus because it's a Nexus format. Next, begin data. Next one, uh, you tell it what format it's in. You do format, and then this format here is called non interleaved. Sometimes there's an interleave format where they have one line of each. So the first line of the mouse, and then the first line of the rat, and the first line of the cow. But this just has all of the lines from the mouse together. So we're, we're going to say that this is non-interleave, and then the data type in DNA. And then uh, we tell it we're going to get it to make the, the data. So we say matrix. And then these, the taxa, get rid of the, the pointy bracket at the beginning of, of the taxa. And just make sure there's this new line right after every, every, every new taxa. And then after we get done with that, uh, semicolon and end. Then we say begin trees. And we give it a uh, our tree. So first we get a, a tree name. So tree uh, demo. And then you tell it that it is an unrooted tree, which is basically a type of tree uh, with the syntax ampersand u. And then you just leave it exactly what came out of uh, exactly what we did. And then at the very end of the file, uh, you just 